Right now, the City of Townsend's Planning Commission is meeting to discuss the possibility of a new resort in that area. WATE 6 on your side's Kristen Galan explains how people who live in the area feel about new developers coming in. Townsend's a great place, especially along the river. It's a great place to go if you just want to go and be alone, uh, if you want to think. It's great for that. It's very peaceful. Uh, it's very calming. Janet would be and her husband own property in Townsend. I grew up in Townsend as a child. A little while ago, Janet heard about the potential of a new development coming to the area. She then started a petition to try and stop the project from proceeding. We have a total of a 1,036 signatures that are against this development. Earlier this week, the city, along with the developers, held a meeting to answer questions and get feedback from residents. Tonight, city leaders will discuss rezoning the area from residential to commercial property. It would then go to county commission to be voted on. If uh, the request was made tonight at the planning commission, it could come as soon as the June meeting of the uh, City Council for our Board of Commissioners. Townsend Mayor Don Prater says he encourages community input on the project. One thing that, uh, that I think we've all noticed is, is that the pace of change has really quickened in Townsend. And in fact, we're in the process of updating our community plan uh, to reflect our desire to maintain Townsend as the peaceful side of the Smokies. We want to do that while we continue to provide a high quality of life for our residents and at the same time opportunities to grow in ways that are consistent with our values and unique character. And so we have a uh, responsibility to make sure that uh, we provide a good environment for our citizens and for our visitors alike. So. Woodby says she doesn't think Townsend is equipped for this type of development and hopes city leaders agree. It may bring in more tax money, but we're gonna have more money going out than comes in. In Knoxville, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. Woodby says she printed out all seven pages of signatures against the development, which she plans to present to the Planning Commission. Now, after tonight's meeting, the rezoning plan would need to be passed at two Board of Commissioner meetings for developers to move forward with the project. We did reach out to those developers. So far, we have not heard anything back.